What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am super excited to bring you my first vault Tech Workshop DLC video. Today I'm going to do a basic overview of every new item in the DLC. This should give you a pretty good idea if you want to grab this DLC if you haven't already, but if you already have, I hope this video provides a basic rundown of how each new item works. Before we begin, this video is much longer than what you normally see on this channel, so I've left timestamps in the description below. If you're looking for something specific, like nuclear generators towards the middle of the video, check the description and click on that timestamp and it will bring you exactly to whatever you're looking for. So let's go ahead, hop in and start building. The first category with new items in it is going to be the special category. This is where you're going to find all the experiments. And unfortunately, I don't have all of them because I haven't played through the quest line in the DLC yet. So I would have shown you guys, but I think it's actually better for a separate video to kind of explain how these things work. And so if you do play through the quest line in the DLC, you will see all of the experiments available and ready to build. Unfortunately, I don't have that right now, so I'm not going to show them off to you guys. Once again, look forward to that in next week on my channel. So the first category with a bunch of new stuff that's available immediately is structures and underneath structures you will find this new vault tab here and you have just so many buildable items here so we're just going to go through each of them and I'm going to kind of explain how these all work together so first off we have the domestic and so this is going to be just a lot of the basic building stuff you'll see this is pretty much what it was made out of when you first walked into the vault right here and so you know your basic hallway pieces connect just to you know the beginning there's Kate and so that makes sense. We have a longer hallway piece, which also makes sense. Let's just, okay, you know, let's just not snap correctly. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. And then we have a transition to utility. And so utility is back here. And I'll show you guys basically the difference between this and that. Unfortunately, one of our vault dwellers, as you can tell, is caught on the hallway. It happens, you know. This is a different kind of hallway. You see it's kind of got a different um, base right there. The flooring is a little bit different. It's a little bit messed up. And then we have window on one side, window on both sides if we wanted that. And then we have some interchanges. So we have a three way if we wanted to go, you know, cut off one way and be able to go the other way so we can do that. We also have a four way interchange just to make sure things work. I'm going to put that two window there and then the four interchange right there. We can get it to snap on. It's kind of finicky, unfortunately. Okay. And then we have a corner, which makes sense as well. If you just kind of want to round things off, you can place that um, to the side. We also have a hall with a doorway, and so you can snap the door piece on, which is something we'll look at in just a second. I'm going to put that right there. And we have a hallway and a doorway, so kind of just a different mix. If you just want a hallway and a separate door that leads into a room, that would definitely be the piece. And then a four-way with doorways. Look at that. That rhymed. Didn't think it was going to, but it did. So here's just another <laughs> example of, uh, you know, the hallway could go this way, and then we could have, you know, different doorways here if I wanted to snap some doors into there. So that's pretty much the basic uh, kind of pieces like that you can mix and match together. This is going to be the bulk of your vault building unless you want a specific theme, which is something we're going to get to in just a second here. So here we have some staircases. And as you can tell in this giant building room, you have a lot of room for elevation and going up. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that wants to snap on because I think this is a doorway piece. Well, that does. So if I wanted to put a door in here, it would work. But as you can tell, stairs, it does exactly what you think it would do. And then you have these really cool stairwell pieces. So let's see. I don't think I can get that. Oh, I can. Just it's a little finicky. So I can have this stairwell go around and up. And you can really tell how you can snap these things together, make it pretty crazy. So that can go back up the other way. And you guys pretty much get the gist of it. You can go as high as the ceiling. And of course, if you decide to build this uh, vault above ground, which you can do after completing the quest line, then you can go really high in the air, you know, as high as the you know, limit will let you basically. So we have some prefab walls here. And so these are walls that you can just snap and connect together. So let me just go ahead and show off some of these for you guys. There's a standard one, the one with the window. Let's get that to snap on there. Just like that. The doorway. Again, you can use a door to uh, put that in there. There's a corner right there. Another, another corner like so, if you want to kind of keep it a little more open. Not as closed off. A middle area, if you don't want any walls. Which is kind of interesting, but you guys get you know the point of that. And then some walls. So again, you kind of have a lot of options with that. So if I did want to just stick a wall on one of those mid categories, um, I could. I could do that and then also with a doorway. So this is actually, you know, this is kind of a customize your own little piece kit right here, if that makes sense. As you can tell, 
I have that corner and then I can choose what goes in here. So I can put these doorway caps in there, which is pretty cool. So that's the general gist of a lot of the basic vault building stuff. If I go into utility, the category that I'm in right now, we're gonna find all of the same basic pieces, but they're gonna be red and they're gonna look a little bit different on the inside. So just to show you example, this is what you get out of the utility piece. You might wanna use this on certain parts of your vault, but as you can tell, like I said, these are all the same pieces, all the same little tools that you can kind of mix and match together in order to get exactly what you want out of your vault. So let's go ahead and go, even though, you know, there's a ton of room here, I really kind of didn't uh, maximize it as well as I could have. We could go to a different part of the vault, but we're just gonna try to stick in here. So as you can tell, there's a whole wide vault category, and this is great because this is kind of gonna be your main area if you want to have one of those. And so you can do, uh, you know, three-way just like we had before. Eh, I'm not gonna place that one down. It's just gonna limit us. A four-way, which is very cool, very open. Can do one with a little doorway just like that, one on the other side. Can have a corner piece which makes sense, and an end, and then another kind of end, just a different style. And so, yeah, you guys can tell there's just so much you can do in terms of mixing and matching and getting things to look exactly how you want them to look. So now this is where we get into the themes. So if you go to the vault category and then underneath rooms, you will find common, cafeteria, clinic, nursery, overseer, quarters, and security. They all have their own theme. So let's just put all those side to side, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Let's just go ahead and store that. Okay, let's put all these side to side just so we kind of get a nice look at all the different options. So there's a common, oh wait, no, this is just common. Okay, so that was a common wall. Now let's do a cafeteria wall. So it's a little pink there. And then <laughs> there's a little one with different kinds of food on it if you really wanted that. You can go into clinic, get a wall there. You can see kind of have the tile. What's, what's obstructing us out? Just these railroad tracks. Let's just go ahead and scrap those. Okay. So, no, I didn't put the clinic down. There's the clinic with the tile on the ground. Here is the nursery. The overseer, which I will say is very nice. Got some nice kind of laminate wood paneling here. Quarters. So, oh, well, we gotta get rid of that too. There's a lot of stuff laying around here that needs to be scrapped immediately when you come in. I thought I got all of it, but apparently I did not. And then security. So I'll just put this wall over the side here. But within all these categories, you have the same set of rooms. It's kind of like the difference between domestic and utility. Kind of the same concept there. So you could have a doorway, again, that you could put a, a door into. You have a window. You have a mid piece, corner piece, corner doorway, corner doorway on the other side, another corner as well. So you can kind of mix and match what you put on each side of that. And so that's going to be the same across all of these. You got a lot of options. And they all, they sometimes look different. Like the overseer's window looks like this. I'm sure you guys recognize that. You can put the circular uh, window there, which is really cool. And so you got a nice variety of things you can mess around with, with the rooms part of the vault category. So now let's look at atrium. These are huge, huge structures. Um, as you can tell, it, it goes very high. Like it's no... No understating how ridiculously large this is, and it's definitely made for this kind of huge area, or on the outside, above ground. It'd probably be a great place for all these atrium pieces. But these all snap together, and they look really fancy. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of room to work with just because I've already placed you know, a lot of these items down. So let me just get out this way. Yeah, see, I already placed a bunch of stuff over here, but how about we do this over here? So yeah, here's an end piece. Another end piece would go on the other side, I suppose. And then you have these individual ceiling pieces that you can kind of snap together if you were to put them in the right way. And then atrium flooring, just a different kind of flooring by itself, which is nice. I kind of like the, the look of that. And then you have your own atrium wall category. So you don't have to use the vault category. You can use the atriums. And these come with you know, windows, doorways, pillars, which is really cool, or columns, I guess, not pillars. Corner, corner bottom, a column like this. So it's got, you know, kind of a second floor right there, which is really cool. And you can kind of recognize a lot of these pieces from the vaults that we've already been in, which is cool. Here's an overseer window. So if you want to put this on the inside and then people would see this on the outside when they come in your vault, that's really cool. Doorway, a giant column. You can stack up, I'm sure. Yeah, you can stack that up. That's pretty cool. Corner piece, atrium style more columns, more doorways, more windows. 
There's just really a ton of stuff. I mean, hanging floor. Let's see, how does this work? So I guess I have to have something up top to support this. Interesting. I didn't even know this was in here. I thought I had gone through everything. You've got your ceiling, another column piece. Kind of has a cool doohickey on there. Some trim, if you want that for your wall. Unfortunately, not finding a place where this will stick on. That's fine, that's fine. But as you're seeing, you'll need a lot of steel and rubber to kind of pull this off. Oh, okay, so that, that's how the hanging floor is gonna work. It's just gonna fit into one of those. But here are some prefabs, some different options here if you don't wanna just build from scratch with all those little things. And our final column. So as you can tell, tons of building stuff. I mean, it, it really is ridiculous. Let's look at the doors now though. So these are doors that will snap into the doorway uh, little pieces here. So let's go over here. As you can tell, boom, just like that. Really easy, simple to work with. And then windows will do exactly what you expect them to. They'll snap into those window pieces. You will have to have those uh, those window pieces though. So something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and put some windows in my double window area, just like that. And we also have kind of a more guarded window. Maybe you wanna put this on your experiment windows. I'm like, let's get rid of that. So if I'm conducting an experiment and I don't wanna you know, get hurt, eh, let's put that there, a little more protected. And then we have our round window. I don't know if I placed a wall with a with a round uh, opening, but you guys pretty much get the point. That's what you're getting out of doors and windows. Those doors work great just like that. Be nice if there was a giant door for those wide hallways, but I don't believe there is. So now we have stairs, and you can do a lot with these. They kind of fit with the atrium prefabs, if you guys saw. These are, you, you could do a ton of stuff with these bridges. You can make some really cool, um, you know, creations, obviously. This is what this DLC is about. So these bridges can fit together. You have a bridge that has a four-way connection, which is very, very cool. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna make some cool stuff with that. And then railings. So these obviously will snap on, depending on what kind of railing you want, in which direction you want it to face. Really up to you guys how you want this stuff to snap together. You got some corner railings, one of these railings, so it kind of ends. Maybe you can have a nice overseer overlook, so you can kind of, you know, keep a check on all your uh, dwellers, right? That's what overseers are about. And we have this final piece here. Finally, the last thing in the vault category, now this is probably the bulk of the video, is supports. So you can actually just go ahead and put these and these can go underground, which is nice. This is great for uneven surfaces. So for example, if you're on Spectacle Island and you're building an above ground vault, then you can use a lot of these supports to just hold things up on a level plane. And this will allow you to make sure everything is, you know, snapping correctly and is on the same thing. And so you've got a larger support here, just different shapes different ramps. Say you just want to use this, these supports to get up to a certain portion, or you can also use these supports for building. These don't cost a lot of steel and rubber. So if you need to get up to a certain area and you don't want to, you're not on PC, you don't want to have to use some kind of mod to fly around or some kind of console command, then you can use these supports um, to kind of, you know, help you, help you achieve exactly what you're going to achieve. You know, don't let your dreams stay dreams, right? So that's pretty much all we have with the vault category. Let's go over the final thing we have underneath structures is doors. And there's only one item in here, I believe, and it's the giant vault door. So you can actually have one of these, which is really cool. And this can be the outside to your entire vault. So let's find an open space. I think I'm actually gonna have to clear this stuff as we move forward in the video, because I took up a lot of room with all this nonsense. Okay, let me just place this down here. There we go. This is really cool. So let's go ahead and exit. Ah, you've got the light and everything. So I think this is actually a reference back to Fallout 2's vault door, if I read that correctly. And that's how the vault doors looked in Fallout 2. And so that's how it works. So if I want to close it after coming in. So it's kind of like a mini vault door, if you think about it. It's not a big vault door. It's not the same size of, as what you have in uh, the entrance to this vault door, for example, in Vault 88. But that's great if you want to use that above ground in some other location in the world in another settlement, you certainly can. So I went ahead and cleared all of that out of the way, and the next category with new items is going to be furniture, and there's actually new stuff between each of these subcategories. So we're gonna look at everything, and I may not place everything down because there's so much stuff, but underneath beds, all you get is a clean bed, a clean, well-made bed, no pillow, 
but a clean bed, which is nice. And that's what a lot of this furniture is. It's just clean items that we just didn't have access to before. And now we do with the DLC. And so underneath chairs, if you scroll all the way to the right, and there are so many new items in this category, I'm not going to show you all of them because there's literally just too many. It's actually insane. So we've got this nice chair here, nice little bench you can put next to the chair, bench like that, picnic table for your kitchen area. A nice kind of booth like this again for the kitchen area this really reminds me of fallout shelter i don't know if you guys have played lately but i but i have you know in the diner you'll find those kind of booths like that chairs like this all different colors not going to really worry about placing all of them down but as you can tell they are nice and clean that's really kind of the theme with a lot of this new stuff so all these new kind of colors we got these sleek kind of pre-war looking um you know, chairs and little ottomans, side tables, really fancy stuff. If you want to make a high class area in your vault, you can do that. Nice couch. Didn't have a couch before like that, did we? I don't think we did. And a stool. So, oh, this is a cool chair too. So lots of different little kind of cosmetic, I would call these cosmetic kind of items. I mean, we are a workshop building, but they are just for show. They don't really serve a lot of purpose except for the bed. But anyways, underneath containers, if we scroll all the way to the right, we have some really cool vault containers so we have a vault trunk like this looks like everyone would need one of those in their uh in their room right a handy dandy vault 88 container we've got a clean version and a dirty version in case you want clean or dirty a nice desk that's a nice desk i just uh, bought a new desk that doesn't look like my new, new desk but that is a nice desk got a dresser locker of course you'll find a lot of these in vaults another dresser hamper for your clothes obviously file cabinets of different colors and sizes and that's what you have underneath containers. Moving on to shelves. That's not new. Let's go scroll all the way over to the side. Honestly, I really wish they made categories specifically with all of this stuff underneath for each DLC. It is kind of a pain in the ass to scroll through all this. But anyways, we have some shelves here. You'll need some steel for some other, sh I guess these are shelves. They're just of the different type. Let's see. Oh, they are shelves. Yeah. So, you know, you can put that in your uh, your dweller's living quarters, if you would like. Underneath tables, there's also a lot of new options, namely the overseer's desk. This is something you have to build almost immediately. Uh, but this is actually like just a, a uh, vanilla version. You can put a terminal inside of this desk. You can kind of trick this out however you want. If you want to be the overseer instead of the overseer bar stove that was already here, then you can certainly do that and make a really cool overseer's office with that desk. Scrolling all the way over, we have a bunch of standard table options here. So just going to place these out. Nice kind of diner tables, some side tables, counter kind of for like a, a kitchen look. That's what that looks like to me. Some nice desk. Ooh. Oh, 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 wow. This is actually impressive. You know what? I actually really want some of this. I was trying to go to Ikea. This is totally off topic, but they got rid of this desk addition system and it really, uh, really triggered me. Um, anyways, moving on. And it looks like we have the same kind of thing in a different color, just like that. Some kitchen tables. Kind of the old-timey ones that kind of you could fold and had sections like that. That's kind of cool. Some different kind of cabinet options here. There's just so much. I mean, really, if you're into building, this, uh, this should definitely kind of scratch that itch of wanting new stuff. If you don't want to just get it through mods, for example. End tables, and finally, one last really cool circular table. That's it for tables. Let's move on to miscellaneous, where we will find a few interesting things after the Far Harbor stuff. So we have a cart. That would belong in a kitchen, I would think. Nice different kind of nightstand. We have sinks and toilets, which is actually really cool. Let's attach this sink to that cabinet, because that makes sense. Um, toilet right here. Let's just put this next to Kate. For no particular reason. Uh, water fountain. It's kind of nice. Get your settlers some nice uh, hydration. Go ahead and put that on the wall. That doesn't make any sense either. Some dispensers. If you want to put this on a counter or something like that in your kitchen. Boom. Just like that. Different kind of dispenser. Doesn't say what it's for. And then we have some interesting items that actually produce happiness. And so I couldn't tell you guys right now if these are related to experiments or not. I generally thought they were just from the footage before launch, but it doesn't appear like they are, at least for right now. But if you actually stick a settler on there, they will do some crazy pommel horse action if you are into that. And also a weight bench. Let's see. Oh, oh, 
Oh, guys. We're going to get some exclusive footage. So enjoy that in the background. Look at that. That's... Yeah, that's happening. All right. So there's a counter right there. Nice for a kitchen. An ottoman. Uh, a projector. It's just random stuff here, guys. Oh, a really style and television. I like that. One of the nice Radiation King kind of standard televisions. And then one right here. It looks like a tabletop. You can just put this on a table just like that. So that's it for furniture. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. This is really blowing my mind. Um, but yeah, so many options. This is all the new furniture. You can do so much with this. And, you know, when you can buy that with some of the vault rooms and stuff, you can really do a lot. You can really make your own personalized vault that is uh, absolutely detailed, at least to a higher degree than we had before. The next category with new items is going to be decorations. And the first subcategory is going to be floor coverings. And underneath here, we don't have... Um, much more, but we do have these floor mats that you can kind of place, and these are things you'll find already in vaults in certain areas. I think this is probably smart to put in a room where you have uh, a weight bench. Probably a good idea, you know, because when you throw down the weights, you want to make sure you're not damaging the floor, right? So we have all these different options, some that are kind of scattered, a more, you know, uniform one that's in one giant square, and you can kind of mix and match these, overlap them together, do whatever you need to do for your floor mats. And so... That's kind of an interesting little addition right there. Let's jump into wall decorations where we have new stuff under signs and miscellaneous. So under these signs, we have to scroll all the way to the right. We're going to find a lot of kind of just caution signs. These are things that are already in the vault that you can clear out. So like danger, hard hat. Let's go ahead and just place these on this handy dandy wall I put here. Excavation in progress. Another different excavation. Keep out from under crane loads. You know, you're going to need that. Caution radiation, you can put that outside of your reactor area. Construction site, falling material, hazard sign, you know, standard stuff you would find in a vault. I'm fairly sure. And a crane sign. So, got all those different options there. And then under miscellaneous, we have the Etotronic. And uh, I don't think this comes with any food in it. If it does, it's going to be moldy. No, nope, no food. But just like that, you can put, slip a handy dandy little quarter in there and uh, get whatever you need. So that would obviously belong in the kitchen or something along those lines. But let's go back under decorations. That's it for wall decorations. Now we have a whole new category, which, which is vault. And this has a lot of stuff in it. And so you have vault statues, which are nice. So you can put a little vault girl there. She makes a little sound effect. He makes a little sound effect too, which is very much the sound effect that you have in the pip boy So you have those little statue options that are a little goofy there. We have a lot of posters. I'm actually not going to place all these out, but we have your medicine poster. America lives on in you. And some nice propaganda. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Extermination. Lots of different options here. Not going to go through each of them, but as you can tell, lots of posters. I'm sure people would pay for these posters. I would pay for some of these posters. I like these posters put these on some of my walls in real life not my vault walls so we also have a bunch of signs which are actually really cool they require power in order to light up but they will light up they look very very cool so we have residential maintenance the lavatory clinic and you can make all of these all of these rooms with the tools in this dlc cafeteria reactor classroom barba there is a barber chair. We'll get to that. Hydroponics. And then you also have little tags just like that. So, same set. And arrows. Nice little arrows. So, again, these will light up once they have power. So, I'll probably, whenever we get to the power section, I'll probably go ahead and light those up. So, we also have miscellaneous decorations that are all vault related. And so, nice set of consoles here. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. How about we do this? There we go. So you'd probably find these in a uh, utility room or something like that. Some crates just lying around. Different colors, different sizes, standard decoration items. So some longer crates. Don't really need to place those down. Some bigger crates. These all look like some fancy luggage, basically. And we have a Christmas tree. Because why not? You know, we found those in different parts of the world. Now it's a vault decoration for Christmas. If you want to have yourself a merry vault Christmas, you can absolutely do that. So under miscellaneous, I believe we have a few more items that are vault related. We have the jukebox. So place that down, place some tunes, 
I think that's it. No, it's not yet. We have a giant ashtray, a radio, speaker system, a stereo, which is something, this is the exact stereo that you find in uh, the Soul Survivor's house pre-war. The Sicilian espresso machine. This is definitely something that you need in your kitchens. And a nice nuke um, or rocket-shaped trash can. I'd love to have one of those. That's it for the decorations category. Lots of new items. It's absolutely, you know, it's actually crazy if you think about it. Our next category is power. And underneath power, we have some new generators that provide a ton, a ton of uh, power for your vault. And so here is the vault Tech reactor. Provides 150 power. That's 50 more than what you could get out of the fusion generator. And fusion generator requires science. That's a big thing. Rank four of science. I think you have to be level 41 to get that. This requires no science whatsoever. Again, this can be built above ground if you complete the quest line. And then you also have the vault Tech super reactor, which produces 500. That's 100. 500 power. So absolutely insane. I mean... This is really going to solve your power you know, issues. If you have one reactor room with like two of these, you're good. You might not even need two. You know, I'll, I'll discover that once I start messing around more with, uh, with what you have, what uh, this DLC, excuse me, has to offer. But there are your uh, reactors and actually those snap through the floor. And so if you connect this to a bunch of vault structures, everything is going to be connected and you have some extra tools that we're about to look at in connectors and switches. So moving over to the side here, just for example, we have this thing called the vault power conduit. So you put this on a wall that's already powered and it just gives you kind of a jack. And so you can wire this jack to certain things to power them up. So let's see if I can, I don't know if I can actually do this cause I just kind of place this stuff randomly. Let's try it out though. Okay, so here's my wall. I've attached it just like that and the connected power should be there. So if I go back to power, since it's going through the floor, if I can find it, there we go. So just like so, here's a power conduit. And let's put an item that requires power, like a, let's just put a light bulb here, just to light things up. There we go. So as you can tell, the power is going through the floor. I can also use that jack like that, but, oh, see, we're also getting power from this ju jukebox just because it's close enough. Oh, all this stuff is lit up too. That's fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted to show. And of course, you can tell it's not reaching far enough to get to this stuff. But anyways, you can tell pretty much how this stuff works. Again, you can just wire that to something. And uh, let's see, where were we? Under connectors and switches. And then we have some extra power conduits if we want to kind of put these in certain locations. They're just like the other um, conduits, but they're white. I think that's actually the only difference. Yeah, because you can put these power conduits like this as well, the ones that we already had. But these are kind of nicer not rusty looking and they're white and they fit the theme of the vault. So that's all we have in connectors and switches. Nothing new in conduits. Let's go underneath lights because of course every single workshop DLC I believe has added some lights. So here are some vault lighting options that we have. We have the white light. These will go on walls which are nice. The red light. I can see you using these for uh, different experiments kind of like a green light as in good. You're go. You're good to go. And red light as in, no, don't go in there. You're going to die. We have some nice ceiling lights. I guess I should probably put these on a ceiling, right? And these are nice because they're not, you know, dirty. They're clean. They go with the theme of this DLC. Sorry to crowd these things like this, but I'm just, you know, clearly very good at building. We have some longer fluorescent lights like this. So, yeah. You guys pretty much get the general gist. This is what you get out of these lights. We have a nice big wall light like that and a wall light like that. And finally, we have the miscellaneous part of the power category where we have the vault tech management system. So let's go ahead and connect this to our power conduit like so and open this up. And that's the only new item underneath power. I just had to double check on that or underneath miscellaneous. So this is a really cool new item. You can find jobs for the unemployed. Unfortunately, there are no jobs, so if, if I were to place down some items that required jobs, of course, that, you know, they would, you know, appear right there. And so we have a vocational overview. This kind of tells us, you know, a rundown of how many settlers we have, how many are unemployed, which are in particular jobs. So, you know, it would say, uh, for example, you know, we have this many guards in security, for example, and that's really cool. So you can kind of 
keep track of everything. And then we have the VIP tracker. This is how you track down your companions, which is really cool. So if I want to show Kate, I do that and it starts a quest just like that. And that quest is already being tracked to Kate. So if I click R to show on the map, it shows that Kate's in here. And obviously I know Kate is right there. So that's a really handy kind of thing that used to be something that people needed mods for. They kind of made a workaround, but you will need to go to a vault population management system in order to actually turn that on. And so that is it for power. This time around, we have a few more options in the defense category underneath guard posts. And so you're going to have a control post here, which is actually kind of cool. This is kind of like exactly what you find outside of vault um, vault 111. When you start the game, you have one of these, as you guys know, and there's some nice handy dandy supplies in here. It's pretty much kind of just a, a, a blank version of that. that You can place stuff in, which is really cool. And of course you can place someone there and actually it provides defense. So this would be a job, for example. So here's another security desk and then here's just a guard post. You can literally just have someone stand behind this with their gun out and just protect the outside of your vault from invaders, which is really cool. And so that's all we have out of defense. And then the final category with new stuff is re resources and I believe we only have one or two items in here yes we have the barber chair and the surgery chair and so this is where you can go and just change the appearance of your soul survivor unfortunately you can't change the appearance of your settlers and that's not really what this is for you can only come here and you know mess with your soul survivor which is a little bit disappointing but it produces happiness kind of like the pommel horse and the weight bench over there which is nice and then here's the surgery chair so you can literally alter the appearance of your uh you know soul survivor just by coming here which is nice you know a lot of people really really wanted that option so let's see if i can just go ahead and get this vault dweller to come and just show you guys exactly how this works so unfortunately i can't get this dweller or any other dwellers to uh, actually do their jobs they're lazy i don't know what the problem is once i talk to them i immediately go to trading so i don't know if that's just a little bug or i need to keep completing stuff but you guys get the general gist if i want surgery i can change my face i can change everything right here or if i want to just change my appearance which would be pretty much hair and uh, other things like that i could go there and so that's it that's all of the new items with this dlc and i gotta say if you love vault building or if you love building in general and you want to build a vault they give you a ton of items to work with and that's exactly what this is that's the express purpose of this dlc is to build some vaults and then there's a little bit of quest dlc involved and so Anyways, guys, I hope this gave you a really good overview of what you get out of this DLC. Let me know in the comments below, what are your vault building plans? And also, what are your favorite new items? Honestly, I really like the pommel horse and the weight bench. Some of the experiments are going to be really cool. So I'm going to play around with those and bring you guys a video in the next few days. But anyways, share what you guys are thinking in the comments section below. All right, guys, today we looked at all of the new items in the new Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack for Fallout 4. Next time, we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage, my survival mode live streams, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace!